Today you're going to be learning all about forces. Forces are all around us. They're anything that cause objects, like this soccer ball, to move, they can cause it to change direction, or they can cause something to stop. But what exactly is a force? Well, a force can be either a push or a pull. Let's look at some examples. In this clip, a man is pushing his shopping cart through the aisle of a store. And in this next clip, a lady is pulling her suitcase along the street. We can check out some more examples. Here, a man is pushing his daughter, push, on the swing. And in this clip, two kids are pulling on a stuffed animal. So we know a force can be either a push or a pull, but forces can also be contact forces or non-contact forces. A contact force is like this, where two things touch each other. The tennis racket touches the tennis ball and pushes it through the air. A non-contact force might be like gravity, which is pulling these snowflakes down to the ground. Gravity isn't actually touching the snow, but it's still pulling on it. Here's some more examples. In this video, a boy is kicking a soccer ball. He is making contact or touching the soccer ball and causing it to move. And in this example, a boy is playing with magnets. The magnets are never actually touching, but they're still pulling each other up off the table. Now that we've had a chance to look at some forces, we'll practice identifying them together. Take a look at this man at the gym. What forces do you see happening? Well, first, is the man touching the bar? Yes, we can see that the man is touching the bar, so this will be a contact force. And does it look like he's pushing or pulling on it? Well, if you watch, you can see that he pushes on the bar. So he's touching it, it's a contact force, and it's a push. This is a contact push force. Let's look at another. Watch this. Did you see it? Let's watch one more time. Right there. Do you see how the dog starts to get too far ahead and then the owner yanks on the leash? What type of force do you think the owner is putting on the leash? Well, we could see the owner is pulling on the leash and the leash is making contact with the dog's collar. So this is a contact pull. Let's look at one more example. Here's a boy climbing at the gym. He's doing really well. It looks like he's gonna make it but then all of a sudden, he falls. Now we know that gravity is the force pulling him downward, but what type of force is gravity? Well, gravity is pulling him downwards, but it's not actually touching him. Gravity is an example of a non-contact pull. Now it's time for you to practice identifying forces on your own. Take a look at this clip. What is the main force you see happening here? Well, the main force is that the boy is pushing on the car, and he's touching the car, so this is a contact push. Let's look at another. What are the forces you see in this clip? Now, this was a tricky one because there were actually two forces. The first force was a pull when we opened the door. The second force was when we pulled the tray out of the oven. Both of these were pulls, and both of them were contact, so these were contact pulls. Here's one more. Watch what happens here with a magnet. What type of force was that? Well, the magnet wasn't actually touching the paperclip. So even though there is a force, there is no contact. This was an example of a non-contact pull. So from today, remember, forces are things that cause things to move, change direction, or stop. Forces can be a push or a pull, and they can be either contact or non-contact. 